What's happening folks and welcome to a brand new series. Eve can we see the title of the video, you can already see it. But before we get into the video, actual first episode of this new series, I prepared a little something. Take a look at this. On the river where they used to build the boats By the harbour wall, the place you love the most I can see you there alone, but are you know I'll be there soon. But if you could see me now, and if you could see me now, I hope that I'm making you proud. Hope that I'm making you proud. Proud. So guys, there we go. An intro to the series. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Neil, who has got a channel which I got the footage from the stadium from. I mean, he allowed me graciously to use the content and I did share, give him a shout out. His channel's down in the description. Uh, it'd be there for every single video that I do. Uh, thank you for, for your help. Um, allow me to use that footage, my friend. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, it's been very hard finding footage to do an intro from YouTube. Obviously, people have their own footage and their own rights to it. It's completely understandable. So, thank you so much for allowing me to do to use that footage. So, um, yeah. So, Sunderland. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, I spoke about this before about doing a save in a lower division with of doing teams that are not expected to win the lower league or get promoted immediately. And Sunderland hopefully fits that category. Uh, obviously, I watched, docu watched a documentary that came out on Netflix. I think this season is the third season coming out of that as well, I believe, or second season. A new season coming out of it anyway. Regardless, what's I can't remember, was it one season, one season, one season or two? It was one or two. But there's a new season coming out of that, so that's that'd be, that'd be interesting to see. I think during this season when they've almost got promoted to the Premiership again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do usual usual spiel intro to this series. Look at the squad, look at the finance, look at the tactics want to create, and then you guys give your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, I'm still gonna make let's play content, but I don't think it's gonna be daily. I think it's gonna be every, every day, especially a series like this, um, because I can't guarantee daily content. Um, plus, there's a lot of content I want to make on this channel as well. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. So we've got a freestyle reputation. We've got a media prediction of tenth, which is Okay, interesting. Um, we've, got technical, we've got a technical director, um, which is Speakman, or Speckman. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Um, and then Mark Venus. He's out, he's out of this world. I'll, I'll, I'll pause for the laughter that you're inevitably going to be un, 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 unable to control at this point in the video. All right, I think that, I think that, well, I can't wait forever, so... You have to pause the video yourself. Um, so, well, they so they are kind of four three a four. Well, I call that a four three three. Or you could argue a four one two two one if you want to go that way with it. Um, obviously, um, I want to try four two three one, but four three three is not the worst idea in the world, honestly. So, they are they are saying work within budget, which makes sense. Grow the grow the grow the club's reputation again makes sense. Record. Uh, any current season, sorry. Um, record a championship top half finish, maybe, and be compared to FA Cup. But again, that's that's depends on the draw, doesn't it? And then the rest of this is kind of like, um, they don't they don't expect to get promoted for the few years. That may change, obviously, if things go a certain way. So I have to wait and see about that. The problem with this series, obviously, will be that it's starting, we're starting this late in the cycle, so we just see how far we get with this. Um, so the support, the support of culture is develop players using the youth system and play high to pressing football. I want to do that. I never get to work on a football manager, though. Um, become an established championship team and become competitive against Newcastle United if we happen to play against them. Given they've got two hundred billion pounds to spend, it's going to be difficult to be competitive with them. Uh, we'll do all that stuff. We'll do a fortnightly meeting and we'll confirm that. I've already said I've already saved the game because I'm, I'm just so I'm just so handy. The skin I'm using, guys, a brand new skin. I'll show you this. It'll, be, it will be also be in, in the description if I can find a link. If I can't find a link to it, I'll give you a link to the YouTuber who was had a handy making a second yellow card. It's probably easier to do that really because he's got a 
downloading the description straight away. So easy to link to his video and you can check out the check it out on there. So tactic, what do they reckon? Well, they won't play. They they want high pressing football, so we're going with that. High tempo, play out defense. They want that kind of football, so we'll go with that. And they reckon that formation or that. Um, I think we'll go with four, four, two, three, one initially, and then we'll create another tactic for the four, three, three. Um, or should we take? Or should we create three tactics? Or should we create three? You know what? Screw it. Let's have three tactics, all the similar, so all the roles are basically done. So we'll go with that. Um, we'll go with that. So we've got all three there set up, just so they. I know that it, 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 it's not not completely ideal, but at least then there's more familiarity than it would be if I didn't use it at all. Um, obviously I'm leaning towards the four two three one. I always try and get it to work. I never can get it to work. This would be different though. This would be a D line playmaker. Um, they're both in defence. So that's what I'd like to do. Whether I can get it to work or not, I don't know. I never got advanced, I never got pressing forward to actually work. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. So let's continue and see what else we've got. So we can't really change much of this anyway, so we'll accept that. Spotter profile, we've got um okay, that's that's nice. Um hardcore eleven fans. I bet it's higher than that. Um I don't know how they work this out. Is it random each time? I don't know. I've never really done two saves where I check this kind of thing out. Um, so, injury update. We've got a few players there. I mean, when I've been now Huggins out for three to five months with a damaged heel. Clearly, he's he got a spear by arrow in a battle for Troy uh, at this point. Um, clearly. So, let's look, at let's look at the dev center first straight away and see what we've got hiding in the depths of our potential, of our midfield. So, we've got... Louis Salgeld, Salgeld, Salgeld um, not a bad player, potential-wise at least. Uh, this is a really good, this is um, not the um, screen you will get um, on your version of the skin. You're going to change it yourselves. Um, but um, I looked at various options and basically like this. This is basically what Sagan Card did. Um, I think everything's there. What, what, I can't think of it. I didn't want, so. Louis Salgeld, not bad. Uh, Daniel Abolo, a winger with a lot of pace, well, potential a lot of pace, and three-star potential, maybe four-star potential. And then you get in down to Luke Bell, who again, defender, who could be, who again could be good, three-star, maybe four-star potential, not going to be any time. These guys are not going to be a team anytime soon, are they? BT, a call, uh, BT, um, not sure, not sure he'll get into the first team, but again, it's decent. We can maybe move him on for money later on if we don't quite, we don't quite develop. Tom Watson, I knew, I knew, I knew a guy in school called Tom Watson. Um, he is, is he a winger. He's got a decent um, left foot and a very strong right foot. Yeah, again, could we move on for, for profit if we don't develop, but play the side, so that's a plus side for me. And then you're looking at Marshall Burke here. Again, three star potential. Okay, let's move on to the U21s now and see what we've, got, what we've got in here. Oh wow! Straight away, we've got talented players in here. We've got Adam Richardson, who has got uh, three and a half star, maybe four star. He could be our goalkeeper long term, potentially. Not saying he's going to be guaranteed, but I think a loan deal would be good for him. Pierre, oh god, how do you pronounce his name? Pierre Iqua. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. This guy. Again, I think a loan deal would be a really good deal for him. Um, definitely, I love that pace in midfield and the ball midfielder. I think that could be a really good ball midfielder for us, in this, for us really, honestly. I think a loan deal would be a good idea for him this first season. Um, but, again, that's why I do a video like this, a start of my new series, to give people thoughts on what they think we should do with these with these players, if anything's got any thoughts, of course. We've got a... Um, honestly, this guy should be... This guy is a centre-back... Who's not amazingly quick? I don't like defenders with no base. It's just something I don't like. Uh, but again, Joe Anderson, not bad. I think um, could be a first team option. Um, he can play two positions, mainly a centre back and left back, obviously. But um, yeah, I think that could be that could be something that we, we use him in the first team because I think just having more players who I know. And we can try out. I think, good. I think I'm putting in 30 minutes straight away, actually, Joe Anderson. Um, Oliver Bainbri Bainbridge. Again, a three-star potential, maybe four-star potential. I don't think this guy's going to make it, honestly. Just a glancing view, but I could be wrong in that. 
Uh, it won't be the first time. Um, Zach Johnson, again, a set back with three star potential with four star. Um, can play right back as well, but more familiar at centre back. Again, definitely a loan deal for him. We something I'll probably do definitely. Caden Kelly, and then you get into like the the lower light, lower lower ends of these now. Again, can play CM, uh, more of a playmaker, but we're also playing attacking midfielder, so we can play him there if we need to. So yeah, not a bad system there. So let's look at the players we've got in our use in our team here. Uh, let's go with uh, best positions. Get these guys in some kind of order. Um, actually, I may. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, position. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's get the guys out who we know are not here, because just it, it's just so that I don't get confused by my people on my list. I don't, like, I don't, it's my personal preference really. Don't like him on a list of not if I can't use them. And Neil Huggins after five months, get him out of there as well because he's not, he's not, he's not going to be involved. So straight away, who's our highest ability player? It's Amad Diallo. What's not, not a type? Can't say I'm that surprised really. Um, I knew he'd be high up on the list potentially. Um, yeah. Really good player. Um, the, the, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to use. I think. Um, technique, good technique, low composure and finishing though. But likes to place his shots. Definitely good player on the right hand side of our attacking uh, midfield. And then you've got uh, Joe Gailhart on loan from Leeds. Uh, very good, very good um, player potentially for this league. I don't know if he's going to stay here next season. Probably not, is the honest is an answer to that. But I think it's all about nailing down a system in his first season. And yes, get out to back if we can. But nailing down a system we know works and then adding to that. That's the thing we have a problem with. I don't... I'm, I'm not a fan of, ideally, changing the system as we go up the leagues. I'd like to keep our system the same, but maybe it tweaks. Not like, okay, we've got to go really defensive now and if we get Premier League. You know what I mean? I'd like to try and keep it, you know... Relatively similar, which is why I'm doing the f pressing with the, with the DM in there, so we can play a bit more, have more cover if we do press higher. Before I've got a few informations in there. Um, so yeah, Ross Stewart, he's a striker who is going to stay here, and uh, honestly, not bad, um, not bad, um, not a lot of pace, but he's got that. Twitter. I love him as a striker. This is my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, not a bad striker. And then Daniel. Who's basically our deep line playmaker essentially? Who has got a lot of pace, but he's got the deep line playmaker. So yeah, not a bad, not a bad squad, honestly. Uh, looking at anybody else, Edward, who's young? Oh wow, he, he looks good. Along from PSG, he's another deep line, deep line playmaker we have. A bit more mobile than um, some other players in midfield we have. I'm guessing. Again, not a bad option. Um, again, don't know how often I'm going to play in there, but it's not bad. Uh, so let's have a look at our squad there. I think that's a, uh, that'd be a really good idea. Where, where is it now? Am I an idiot? There we go. Just forgot where it was a second there. So um, then I can... Joke, go ahead, I can play Cam. Can he? I'd like to get him both in the team if I can. I don't know if that would work, but... Uh, once more often... He can play that shot. He can play that role. So definitely could maybe do that. But Alex Pritchard is our main cam, and I think that makes sense. I think he'd probably play cam more often than um, he's 30... No, he's not. He's, I tell a lie, he's 29. Uh, so you definitely, you definitely can see him playing next cam uh, this season for us, definitely. And then looking at our left winger is Jack Clark, who is better on the right wing, according to this, but he's got a reasonable left foot. Um, but I think I'd, I'd play him out there anyway. Uh, he's reasonable on, on his right foot, so... Um, hopefully he can do all right. So, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm talking about he's very strong on his right foot. So, no, he's fine on the left hand side. Thing. What am I talking about? I just, I just remember which I did. I do apologize. Um, goalkeeper Alex Patterson. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. He's got he, he's he's decent. Um, so let's go through the, the Gooch. He's never a right back. He's a winger. Yeah, he's a winger. He's not a right back. Um, I'd never. I wouldn't play him there. I'd play him as, anyway. So let's, let's go through the squad and let's see what they reckon we should do. With these. so Gooch, they reckon Daniel Billard. Okay, we don't have a right back, do we? Actually, you know he's all right. Yeah, we'll go with um, Tai Hoom. He'll be our right back. That's fine with me. Our left back. Yeah, we'll go with him. Billard. 
and then I'm looking at that pace could be a problem. Yeah, it's a toss-up between them two. Again, we can always work on it. I'm just going to put plays in now for the sake of it, just to see what we can go with. Luke O'Neill, is he our bomb midfielder? He kind of is, isn't he? Is anyone else better than that role, do you reckon? Daniel, he's not, is he? No, he's a, he's a playmaker. Corey Evans... Honestly, it could be it could be a lot of finding players out, and I'm definitely going to play the guy from PSG on loan there. And the, 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 the attack has fixed itself really. Amad Diallo can play there. We'll have Pitchard at the cam. We'll have Jack Clark there, and our pressing forward is going to be Joe Gale Hart. That's the preliminary squad. I know it's a really good keeper because that will help keep the ball out back in the net. That's preliminary what I'm going to go with. I don't know that'll make it that that will work or not. But the good news is hopefully we can get a good enough few, few wins together to get to get top 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 half doable and go from there. So finances, we've got 4.9 million pounds. It's quite five million in the bank balance. I've got one million pound to transfer fee to spend. So that's interesting. Um, one thing I think we can definitely do is go and get a uh, to, to a football. That's what I would like to do. Come to the screen. This is where the fun really begins. And I love it. This is why I love this skin. It's so cool. This having that picture there for the stadium is really cool. Again, guys, if you want to download the skin, it is in the link to the video where because um, the the video is better to go for because he explains how the skin works and things you can do with it. So I'll give a shout out to taking your card down below in the description. Check out his video. He goes. He, he shows. The, he shows you the skin, how to install it, and he goes in the detail of the skin, how it works, and why, if I, how, what you can do, which I can't explain. Cause I'm not. I'm, I'm not a genius like he is. Um, so yeah, um, go check that out if you're feeling. If you, if you want the skin as well, um, and the 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 the, the, the kits and stuff, I just like, downloaded from Sorry Out of Sight. Um, so yeah, then I feel like we can definitely get a doctor football in here. Um, so top half finish, be competitive, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, that is basically it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm gonna do some things in this series where we're gonna do. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna try and get it done at least. Um, hopefully I can. Uh, where I just do some basic stuff with like, um, just like a like a normal episode. Now I did say it would be daily. I'm not gonna promise anything. What I will say is I will record as much as I can and release as much as I can. Uh, but I do have experiments I want to do on this channel. I've got my Wonder Kid videos I want to do on this channel, and I've obviously got two other channels as well. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. I will release it if I can. if I suddenly find I'm way ahead of the, the curve on all my recording and this and this channel as well. I'll release more episodes. Uh, but um, obviously, this is another attempt at a lower league team save. Uh, next year, I'm I'm already thinking about my saves next year. I know in my head what I'm going to do. Spoiler. Alert, Similar to this one, uh, not the not not necessarily the same team. Unless you guys want to see this, if we if we, if, if we do well, we don't find Croatia off. But I there's there's about four teams in my head. I'm thinking of doing next year. Um, so keep an eye on that. That'll be fun to see. If I can pull that off. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm, I'm I think we're ahead of my saves. Better saves, obvious what it's going to be. But yeah, so next episode will be basically the opening game against Coventry. And we'll go through all the transfers, staff changes, any tactic, any tactic changes that I've made due to you guys' suggestions in the comment section. I can always say I don't promise next episode date because I, I like to give people a chance to find this series and give their thoughts on it. But if you have enjoyed the episode, I hope you have enjoyed it. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Check out the FIFA channel, which is still up and running. And Let's Play channel down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. But until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.